And this time I'm going to need seven people to come up and stand um, in front here. So if I can have seven volunteers. We're going to talk about virtue and vice. <coughs> Will this back feed if I walk down? No, it should be fine. No? Okay. Okay, don't be shy. I need seven people. Okay. We got one, two, three. Yep, just, just line up. Um, I'll stand in front of you guys. So we are going to talk about virtues and vices. There's an old German woodcutter in the 14th century that made a bunch of wood cuttings. We're going to use cards from them. They're going to show the seven virtues, which are prudence, temperance, charity, fortitude, faith, justice, and hope. So prudence is being a good steward with what you have. I mean. Uh, not doing anything in excess. Temperance is a, a good even. Um, doing things in moderation. Charity is being generous to others. Fortitude, having the stamina to, to go the distance. Faith, believing in things. Or justice, having a sense of fair play. And hope is just the optimism that something good is going to be happening. Now, each of these virtues have a corresponding vice. Uh, the justice, their corresponding vice is envy. Uh, prudence, their corresponding vice is gluttony. I got that down pat. Uh, charity, their corresponding vice is greed. And faith, their corresponding vice is lust. Hope, their vice is pride. And fortitude, their vice is sloth. And temperance is wrath. So I'm going to let you guys have your choice of, again, we got the seven different virtues here. Let me get it mixed up a little bit here. So just choose one. Which one do you want? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I want you guys to look at your virtue. Again, I want to be easy on you guys. I want to give you guys good memories. And I want you to think back to a time that you've experienced something in your life that exhibited this virtue. Okay, give you guys a minute. Um, really picture it. Let, let live in your memory. And while you're doing that, I have a corresponding vice that's haunted me for years. I'm, I'm going to put that here in my pocket right now, so you know I'm not going to be changing it. Okay, you guys got got your virtues? You got the memories? Okay. Let your hold, hold that in your right hand, up against your chest. Your left hand, I want you to put up. Okay. Repeat after me. No. What I'm going to do, virtues and vices are, are like a coin. They're related, related even though they're opposites. Um, you can't have a vice without a virtue. So I'm going to see if, if I can find the corresponding virtue to my vice and basically your corresponding virtue or vice to whatever virtue you have and, and see if we're able to make a, a connection because if, if we are, that, that really shows that we're on the same emotional state, even though they're on opposite spectrums. So let's start. Actually, I'll just hold mine here. Who 
good in Nigeria. Did anybody feel anything other than my hand pressing against yours? Because there's, I was feeling something. I just want to make sure I'm clear on it. <coughs> Plus, while I'm doing this, the audience gets my best view. <laughs> Anybody have a memory they want to share that you're thinking of? Oh, fortitude is that it means to go to distance. It reminds me of when I was uh, participating in the high school football team, and okay. I was one of the smartest players in there, but I was able to get on the varsity. Yeah, so, so a pretty strong yeah. emotional time for you. I mean, it is a positive yeah. memory and all that. Very good. Anybody else want to share anything? You don't have to. I mean, I know these are private thoughts or memory, but if you do want to share it, now's your time. Okay. Which one do you have? Justice. Justice? Okay. And is there a memory you want to share? Not that I want to share. <coughs> no? Okay. That, that's fine. Okay. Again, we have, and it's on the screen, but you can't see it. But we're going to enrich this. That, that has a corresponding, uh, well, plus everyone's standing in Right. Uh, actually, if you guys could split over just a little bit. Okay, so you said you have justice? Yes. The corresponding vice is envy, right. which, if you look, <laughs> it's envy. yeah, which I want, I want to share what, what my vice is, the memory. I was a young boy, probably, I don't know, 12 years old, and a neighbor two doors down the street from me got this brand new BMX bike. I mean, it was shiny. It, it had the handle grips and those, I don't know what you call those little spikes you can set on on the back wheels and big knobby tires and I was so jealous and envious of that. I have three sisters so all I got was the hand-me-down girls bike with the banana seat, the high handlebars and it's hard to be a cool kid when you got that. So, so I would watch the neighbor kid driving up and down the streets, um, jumping over ramps and all that and I would just over time, I got so envious of them, and I started wishing bad things on them. Just like, oh, I hope Bobby um, falls off when he jumps or, or wrecks his bike and all that. Then one day, I was out in the front yard, and I, I saw him riding back and forth, and again, I, the green-eyed monster rose up in me, and I'm just wishing him all the bad luck I can. All of a sudden, the car went by. I heard a crash and a thud, and I saw Bobby's bike plane mangled in the road. Uh, that was the last time I saw Bobby. His bike, a couple days later, was put out next to the road for it to be taken away by the garbage man. Since then, I realized how bad envy can be. And that memory has stuck with me ever since I've been a child. And it's, again, this is my burden to bear. That's why I want to make sure you guys had good memories to to call up. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys helping. Thank you. Thank you.